I will sack one of my little birds here if they are attacking in. Yeah. Return it to my hand. That is my Vran and Seven. You little... What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you guys so very freaking much for tuning in. The giveaway for 5,000 subs is still going on. You guys are going crazy for it. So if you didn't do so already, check out the video over my head right now to find out how to participate. And it's not that hard. It is easy as pie. And if you didn't do so already, subscribe to the channel, become part of the Malone family, and maybe even join the Discord. There's a lot of cool people there. Uh, everyone there is pretty, pretty freaking cool. But enough. Yammering, let's get into the band fall. Hammering, I freaking love band. And the only reason why we even play green in here is the Vran and Seven and Prosperous Innkeeper, but it's totally freaking worth it because I really want to play another Felidar retreat. And that is why it's called band fall because it's a landfall deck in band colors. Yeah, I'm so, so smart. So this is a hardcore control deck, even though it might not look like it, it really freaking is. We have the Malevent Hermit that uh, can be sacrificed to counter a target non-creature spell unless it's controller pays 3. So this is kind of our only counter spell in here. Then we have the Divide by 0, but that is it. That is freaking it. Then we have the Memory Deluge out of the new set. And it's just one of the best cards ever. And uh, we have the Teferi who slows down the sunset. And if you don't know the memory delusion, look at the top X cards of a library. Four in the first time and later it will be seven. And then you put two of them into your hand. It has flashback. It is freaking delicious. We have the Teferi to gain some life back. Untap stuff. So maybe we will have a turn five Mordekainen, which is nice. And we're also kind of a secret super friend stack. These three together, or four if Ren and Seven are two, are pretty freaking nice. And the Mordekainen also has his dog. So they're kind of five. Five good old friends hanging up, uh, hanging around, and uh, just being obnoxious. This deck is super fun. So you can untap up to one target artifact, land and uh, creature. We will in the most cases just untap a land and get to life, which is very, very good for us. Then uh, we can also look at the top three cards of a library, put one of them into our hand. And if we ever get to the minus seven, we untap everything we own, every untap step and draw a card every draw step. That means ours and our opponents. So that is very amazing. The Vran and Seven is just so good in here because of the Felidar Retreat. So we reveal the top four cards of a library and put any land cards revealed that way in our hand and the rest into our graveyard. That is not as important, but what is important is the zero. We put any number of land cards from our hand onto the battlefield tapped and that will trigger the Felidar Retreat, which is freaking delicious. Then for minus three, we created three folk, which is also very important because those boys are big. They would be five at least when you put them down or four if you put down a prosperous innkeeper and are using a treasure because their power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. And for minus eight, you can return all of your cards back to the ha uh, back to your uh, hand, all of your permanent cards and get an emblem which you have no maximum hand size. But that is also not as important. We have another new card in here that is very freaking nice. The Vanquish the Horde. This is an 8 cost destroy all creatures, but it costs one less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. So if the opponent has three creatures, this costs five. And if you have two creatures and the opponent has three creatures, this costs three. Three, which is so good. So yeah, and if there's six creatures on the field, all you need is two white. Two white to wipe the board. Delicious. And we have some ways to make some creatures with a Malevent her Hermit that comes back as a Geist. So you can bring that back from the graveyard. It will be a Benevolent Geist. And uh, yeah, non-creature spells you control can't be countered, which is very good. And if the uh, Benevolent Geist dies, it gets exiled. It's not that important. So that is pretty sweet. And we have the Prosperous Innkeeper. We have all the kill Kitty Cats from the Felidar Retreat that 
we will sadly kill with the Vanquish the Horde. So it is very, very nice. Then uh, we have the Divide by Zero in here. So we can disrupt their game for as long as possible, which gives us access to environmental sciences, which is very important in this deck. Teachings of the Archaics, if our hand will ever be empty. A Containment Breach, so we can get rid of tar uh, target artifact and enchantments. And we have, of course, some Masked Exhibitions that work very well with this deck. So... Then with the Felidar Retreat, if you have two or three of those out, it goes bananas. Just freaking bananas. As removal, we also have three Fateful Absence, because it is just very good, takes care of creatures and planeswalkers. We have the Doomscar four times, we have the Vanquish the Horde two times, so we have six board wipes, which is very important, because there's a lot of aggro running around. And if they aren't playing aggro, well, we just chill back as well, and as soon as they do anything, whatever it is, we will attack in. Then we have our Auron's Epiphanies, so we can play the Auron's Epiphany, then play a land. Now we have two two birds with Vigilance. It is just freaking delicious. And together with the Mordekainen and his little Dogo, oh, we will have so much freaking fun. Also, I'm going zero man lands because those get destroyed and uh, yeah, doesn't even really matter anymore. We want to kill them with the uh, three folks, with our Teferi, with our Mordekainen, with our little birdies here and with our cats. So, land-wise, we have two Bark Channel par uh, Tide Channel Pathways, four Overgrown Farmland, two Deserted Beach, three Forests, eight Islands, and five Beautiful Plains. And uh, yeah, as I said, this is a very fun deck. You will make a lot of comebacks thanks to the Prosperous Innkeeper giving you life whenever you play a cat or when you bring the birds down. You have these Doom Scars to wipe the board very efficiently. You have the Teferi to gain some life back. You have the Ren and Seven to get some blockers. It is just such a freaking fun deck. In playtesting I had a lot of fun against Mono White. Trust me, they hate this deck. I'm hating a lot of Mono White lately because it is just one of the strongest decks. But with yesterday's deck that beat Mono White so good, with today's deck that is very strong against Mono White, we will have a lot of freaking fun. Alright, this is Band Fall, Band Super Friends, Ran and Kitty Cats. I'm Mattress Malone and I will see you in those Felidar games. I was planning on building the most beautiful onion girl, Smelly, the most beautiful mill deck ever. It just wasn't wasn't going to happen. It just wasn't, and that was so sad, so freaking sad. So the opponent's going first. We're up against Mono White. Okay. Well, Usher of the Fallen turn one. Annoying. But well, we do have the Doom Scar. So hey. Two Ushers, okay. And a Cold Spell Cleric, yes, yes, okay. So please game a White Source, please a White Source. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Oh my lord, this White Source is everything I wanted it to be. Go ahead, go ahead. I will wipe the board so hard here, so super hard. It's not even going to be funny for you anymore. And then we do have the Fateful Absence, so everything is bueno. All we need now is some green sources for the Brandon 7, which we have some of, so I really hope we can find them. Alright. Yeah, that cost three. Just cost three, so yeah. Try. Freaking try. I'm keeping up my memory deluge here. And my Fateful Absence, just in case. We will see what they're doing here. If they're putting down the Mall of the Skyclaves onto this Lunark Veteran, that is all of their mana spent. And that is then pretty much alright with me. So I still think that I can take three here. Wow, okay. So we're taking this and we're taking this. So we're putting down at the ferry. Getting some life back. I'm tapping uh, nothing, no creature. But we're untapping you here. And we're bringing down the green source. So I'm pretty sure that they will uh, be attacking down my Teferi now. But that is alright, because then we can get ourselves a random seven, which is all I want. As long as our Teferi survives, we're good. We are super good. They're going face. Okay, that is still fine with me because we will have the Brandon 7 next turn. So, yeah. 
Okay. Draw a card. That is alright. Get some life. That is also alright. I still think that we're looking pretty good here. We could also just wipe the board, you know? Like, why not? Why the freaking heck not? This costs four, right? Yeah, it does. So I think that we're just uh, wiping the board here. Getting the most out of our Teferi. Destroying all creatures. So very soon our Teferi will be very annoying for the opponent. Very freaking annoying. The Faithful Absence is still pretty good here. They have the face of Haven, so good thing we kept those. Good thing we kept all the good stuff. I'm still hoping for a... Uh... Well, that is also nice. We could even use it here and still have our Ren. And I think that that is not even such a bad idea. Because then if we enter our three folk here, that is pretty good. So let's do it. Let's get our three folk up and running. I mean, it is pretty huge. It's a pretty big three folk person. So I like it a lot. Freaking love it. Oh, yes. Okay. And we still have enough for the Fateful Absence in the worst freaking case. We will see if that case even uh, comes to fruition, as they say. So, what you gonna do here? What are you gonna do here? I have everything I want, everything I need. Everything is freaking bueno. They're looking at my stuff, which I don't like at all. Do not like it. Stop looking at my- And they scoop! Oh, they did not like it. They did not like my stuff. Hmm, all right, all right. So I'm playtesting before. I beat a mono white deck, so that makes two mono white decks in a row. That means that we will encounter now a third mono white deck and not find anything that we need. Opponents going first. What is this hand? We cannot keep this hand. The lands were nice. But still, we could not keep it. So, I think that I'm going... Uh, yeah, the Prosperous Innkeeper needs to go here. I'm sorry, Prospy. But you need to go. So, we're up against Mono Black. Okay. That is alright. We do have the Doom Scar and everything, so it's still okay, okay. But I still think that I will just foretell the Auron's Epiphany here. As they uh, just, you know... Prepare for a sacrificing shambling guest into extra uh, mana anyways. So let's not show them that we're blue yet. Not yet. They will find out soon enough. And the Fateful Absence can take care of their spider mommy when it comes down. So I'm not worried at all here. We still have the Teferi. Okay, they're not using it here immediately. Interesting. Oh my, okay, okay. The Memory Delugio. But we are still using the Doom Scar here. Well, putting it on the on the back load, so that is good. And they're still missing two Snowlands. Oh my, okay. Memory Deluge. And I think the Fateful Absence need to go. Was this really worth it, my friend? Was it now? Freaking was it now? I don't think it was. So. I'm going with the Teferi here. Because, uh, yeah. If the Teferi can survive for one more turn, we're super happy. And if it can't, well, it's just how it is. But they would need a lot of stuff here to be very annoying to the Teferi. And uh, yeah, I think they will attack it. But uh, we will be on 5 then, which is not enough. But if we draw one land, one singular land. The Bay for Mastery. Well, that is also alright. Pretty much so. Still, if we draw one land here, we're super freaking happy. And I really don't want to give him, you know, the... Uh, 
the happiness of uh, getting the treasures here. That is nothing that I want. So we cannot find any land. Is that really so? Is that really freaking so? Well, we can take one last hit before we need to push the button. But then we have to push the button. Sadly. They also don't have anything. But we drew a lot of cards. We didn't throw away a land. So we're 12 cards deep. A third of them were lands. I, I like to... Comp oh my lord. You freaking monster. You freaking monster. Okay, I see you. Yeah, I will have to push the button here now. Otherwise, I'm just dead. So, yeah. Button push it, it is. And we just found a land. Insanity. In freaking sanity. But if we find one more land, we're happy. Happy like a clown, Charlie Brown. Because then we can take two extra turns and memory deluge right afterwards. So, we might have a spider mummy here now. But all we need is a land. And almost anything that we can draw here will be good. I thought as much. I freaking thought as much. But they don't have any more mana, so they're screwed on mana, just like we are. Okay. But we still need to chill here. The eye twitch. Holy smokes. One land. One land game. We don't even have tap lands, so no matter what you give me here, I will be happy about it. I will be freaking happy about it. So we kind of have to do this here now. Otherwise, we will be freaking dead very soon. So yeah, this buys us one more turn. Two more turns. Okay. So we're getting some land here. Her freaking faction here it is the exact mana i was looking for so i think we can make a miraculous comic unless they found a freaking the only thing that can kill us here is if they have the faceless haven now ready to rock they do have the faceless haven now ready to rock we're dead if they don't we freaking oh oh my oh my they didn't use the faceless haven here why and I was slamming my, uh, you know, I was just slamming around. Okay, well, we're getting some life back then, which is pretty good. We're getting rid of the Loth even. We're untapping this land. I was even slamming my chair. Just for no apparent reason. Okay. So I want the life back. I want the freaking life back, zero. As we are taking care of the loth here. I slammed my chair for no reason. I hope that wasn't too loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it was. Okay. Now we're attacking in with one. We can still use the memory deluge here, can't we? Yeah, we can. And we get ourselves the Felida retreat. And the planes. Now we're untapping a creature, which is pretty cool, because I want to do that all along. Up to one land. Very good. So, if they attack down on the Teferi here, that is alright. All we need is uh, this Felidar Retreat. And maybe a Ren and Seven would also be nice. A Ren and Seven would be freaking amazing. Okay, what you doing here, my friend? What are you doing here? We will find out. I slammed my chair, so I was so mad. I was so freaking mad. You're doing it like this? All right. That is fine with me. If I can get rid of your board here, I'm pretty happy. So, yeah. You do that. I will be getting two life back every single turn. So, these three life don't really concern me yet. Not yet, but soon. But pretty soon. They have another freaking bay for mastery. Well, we do have another freaking uh, Orange Epiphany, so do we even care here? I don't think we do. What was this from? Oh, from here. Okay. Okay. But I still think that we're alright. 
Because uh, we can now uh, wipe the board. Foretell the Auron's Epiphany. Then we're playing uh, the Auron's Epiphany, playing the Felida Retreat, pushing all of our birds into Oblivion. Yeah, seems pretty good. They're not finding any lands, which is pretty brutal. But hey, I, I really couldn't care less. I really could not care the slightest. Not the slightest. Draw your card. It was free. It was a gift. So, they still don't have anything. We're bringing down uh, the Auron's Epiphany number three. We're telling the Doomscar just in case. Oh my. I was hoping for that card sooner or later. Because I really wanted to play it. So we're making ourselves the cat, of course. And then we're chilling. No need to attack in. Oh, I need to go to the bathroom so bad. After this, bathroom break. Freaking a bathroom break. So yeah, the memory deluge will help us find some nice stuff, which I like a lot. And we can still wipe the board here, which I like also a lot. Okay, yeah, I will take that. I don't want you to have anything here. Nothing at all. Oh my, this is also very nice. Very freaking nice. So first we're memory deluging. We're getting ourselves the Mordekainen. And uh, another Mordekainen? Yeah, yeah, seems good. Oh my, I need to go to the bathroom. So bad, so freaking bad. So we're uh, making ourselves another cat. And now we're chilling. They can be attacking in here, but I really don't care about that. If they attack in, I will just block it, you know? Just freaking block it. And the Mordekainen will be very good. The Poet's a Quill. Okay, this is a very interesting deck, though, I've got to say. Holy smokes. When the bathroom hits you, it hits you real good. So we have the Doomscar here. Everything is freaking bueno. Yeah, equip it there. Now attack. Now Puri's attack. Okay, they're attacking. We're getting rid of you here. And, I, and we're getting rid of you here. Or are we? No, we're not. We're getting rid of you here like this. I need those birds for something else. I don't know what yet, but I need them. I will freaking need them so much. So, the Loth uh, already used them, so that is alright with me. The Tainted Adversary, okay. Okay. So, we got another land. Pretty good. So we're making the dog. We're putting down the land. Putting a counter on each creature and giving them Vigilance. And now we're beating the Loth here. Then we can make ourselves another dog, draw ourselves some cards. I think we're pretty much okay here. All we need to do now is to beat him down with the dog and everything else. Go ahead, you do that. You freaking do that. Couldn't care a less. Alright, they're really going for it. They're really freaking going for it. Oh my Vrannon7, I miss you so much. Freaking miss you so much. And we're doing it like this. So one of the birdies will die, but that is alright. They will make themselves some flyers, but that is also alright. As we can always wipe the board if we need to. Oh, they're getting rid of the bird, I reckon. Yeah, pretty smart. Pretty freaking smart. But as I said... We will, uh... We will wipe the board here. So they're drawing the card. They think they're super safe, but they aren't. They just aren't. The entire multiverse okay. We're getting rid of the blue one here. That wasn't too smart of my part. But hey, I'm not known for smartness. I'm known for having fun. 
Okay, we will use this now. As it gets only more expensive as it goes. Okay. So I don't think that they will have a haste creature here. That is just unheard of. I think they will just put down the Masked Exhibition or get themselves the Loth back. But even if they get themselves the Loth back, that is still okadoka to me. Holy smokes. 13 minutes. The longest game ever. Just a moment. I need to go to the freaking bathroom. Okay. Yeah, we're getting you and we're getting uh, you. I mean, it's pretty good. It is pretty good to have. You could have such power. I do have such power. You just don't know about it. You just don't freaking know about it. Okay. The Vran and Seven. Very nice. Very freaking nice. I like it a lot. Freaking love it. They can make themselves some more spiders. But we can just take another extra freaking turn. And that I like a lot. Now we will draw. Try to get ourselves uh, some more lands in hand. We did. You can go. And now we're making ourselves a, a cat. So, Vran and Seven. Oh, so good. So freaking good. So now we will look at the top. And a scoop! Finally, I can go to the bathroom. Oh, Mono Black, get out of here. You were banted into oblivion. Into oblivion. Mm. Oh, Lord, I feel so much better. Whew. I feel so much better. Not even going to lie. Okay, dokie. Okay, M. Yeah, but I, I knew that would come up. That is why I said okay, dokie. So, opponent's going first. I really would like this hand if we had any white, but we don't. This what? What is going on? What is going on? So I think, uh, yeah, the more doom scars, the better. I don't know. Well, maybe this is better, as we can also take care of planeswalkers with this. And we're up against a control deck. Just when we have the handful of control ourselves. Yeah, it's Demir control. It is freaking Demir control. We all know it is. And we're missing a blue source for the memory delusio. But hey, maybe we even have a chance against the uh, Demir control deck. Who knows? Who freaking knows? I have no clue what they're playing. But they also have no clue what we're playing. So we can bring down the, uh, the memory deluge now. And they will do as well. Oh, they don't. They don't. Okay, interesting. But I still think we should play it here. If they have a counter spell, I think they will use it on the memory deluge. The siphon inside. Oh, I hate you so much right now. Just hate you so freaking much right now. I bet they found something nice. I bet they did. Oh, something so nice. <laughs> wow. Okay, gamer. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. They can use it once more if they want to. I bet they found something spectacular. They are using it once more. Okay. Well, nothing in my deck takes care of the Falada Retreat. Nothing. Holy smokes. I think this is the CGB deck. I think he played something similar not even too long ago. The Mordekainen. You monster. You freaking monster. Come on, use the plus. Use the plus. Don't make the dog. Well, they're making a dog. Makes sense. Makes freaking sense. We're still getting rid of the Mordekine in here. And we're making ourselves a blocker. And now we're chilling. If they do have something, we still have the memory deluge. So yeah, we still have the fateful absence. The fading hope. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. They cannot be playing uh an extra turn here. So they're also green? Oh, they stole this from me, I bet. Yeah, it's mine. It is mine. 
You monster. You freaking monster. Go ahead, draw a card. I do, still do have my memory deluge here, so I'm still okay. I will use it now. Because I really want something, and I can't wait any longer. The memory of me uh, stabbing... Oh, come on! How many stuff and insights do you have? How many? Like, how freaking many? Well, this is very nice. I like it. Like it a lot. Okay, so at least we know that now they don't have anything anymore. Oops. Yeah, sorry. Freaking sorry. Can we do this now? We cannot. We still have to play one land. Okay, that is alright. We're going all in. Alright, all in was achieved. The all in was freaking achieved. Love it. Freaking love it. We have another Falada retreat here. Freaking perfection. So we have all the green we need. Okay, so I will put down another blue. So counters and a cat. Damn, oopsing me. Seriously, whatever you play, if it is mine, I can return it to my own hand. So that is alright with me. Pretty much alright with me. And if you really do have something, I can still take care of it. The power word kill. Yeah, I don't care about that. Seriously do not care about that at all. So, you have seven mana. You would need a lot of good stuff here. Just a lot of good stuff. And I do have the good stuff. I have the goods. The two Falada retreats here are pretty nice. Another Siphon Insight. Yeah, as I said, whatever you're playing here, I will return it to my own freaking hand. With the divide by zero. Crazy. Freaking crazy. This card is so cool, but uh, yeah, I haven't found a place for it yet. Yet. I will sack one of my little birds here if they are attacking in. Yeah. Return it to my hand. That is my Vran and Seven. You little monster you little monster okay so you know what you know what make him suffer for stealing my stuff make him freaking suffer for stealing my freaking stuff make it a bird okay now we can attack in with these two holy freaking smokes trying to steal my brand and seven aren't you <laughs> who do you think you are who do you seriously think you are yeah get out of here okay am is my brand and seven my brand and seven mm. Mm. unbelievable okay am trying to steal all of my planeswalkers I think you you're crazy crazy how can we never? Have a white source in our starting hand. How is that a thing? Well, I think we're good if we can get the divide by zero up and running sooner or later. Is this a mono white deck? It is not. Okay. Good thing it isn't. Good thing it isn't. It will be a uh, dragon stack or no? Okay. Well, we're for telling the Doomscar here anyways. As long as you don't know we're running white, we're good. Oh, it is dragons. Okay. Well, I, uh, I, I thought as much. Freaking thought as much. But sooner or later they will be doing something. Yeah, we're dividing that by zero so that we can get ourselves the environmental sciences. Oh, that was pretty good even, wasn't it? That was even pretty good. Okay. Like to see it. Love to see it. We're using the memory delusio here. Getting ourselves the Vran... Do we need another planes? I don't think we do, but this is pretty good to have. So let's just hope they don't find a land. Let's just bet on them not finding a land. They didn't. Looks like they didn't. Oh, that is our chance. That is our freaking chance. Can we do both? Now we're missing one. 
But uh, we will be able to do some shenaniganery very soon. Alright. So this tree folk can take care of a gold span dragon even if we want to. So that is pretty good. And we still have the Mordekainen. So everything is freaking bueno. For a now. We still need one more white source to be super happy. But we might find it sooner or later. But I still think that I will just start to chill here. The Magda. Okay. Oh, they're shooting my Ren and Seven. Well, we still have the tree folk, so I'm already happy. There's not too much that could make me unhappy here right now. What you playing here? Okay. Annoying, but hey. But hey. It was kind of to be expected sooner or later. So they might have extra turns incoming. So that is why we're just not doing anything yet. But getting another environmental sciences for the white land. And then we're attacking in. I mean, let's be honest. If they do anything here, we can still divide by zero. So everything is pretty good. And I think they want to attack in here with the Magda. So that they can, you know, get themselves a treasure. They are the Mad Lads. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So now they have enough for a gold span dragon and a counter spell if they want to. But they don't want to. Okay, well, it's alright with me. It's pretty much alright with me. So we're not doing anything here. That was something that I didn't think about, to be honest. But it is still alright, as we do have enough. Resolve. Pay to three. Yes. Goodbye. So now we might be in a little pickle. That is why I'm bringing down the Prosperous Innkeeper. If they do have the extra turn here now, we're a little bit sad. But we will see. We still have the Doom Scar. We are still on 20 life. I think everything is still A-OK. -okay. Yeah, let's get rid of this Magda here. She just uh, presents too much freaking value. As I said, they might have an extra turn here or two. I just hope they don't. Please don't have two. Please don't have two extra turns. Would be bad. <gasps> yes! Okay, they don't have two extra turns. So, but what do you have? Oh, it looks like they don't have anything. Mm -mm, scoop! Oh, man, we got them all. Four to O. Four the freaking O. Or three to O? I got to check. No, we're four to O. We're four to O. Get out of here. Mm. So right now, we're looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. We're four to O. Mm. Oh, yeah. I like it. That makes me feel okay about the freaking bad mill experience that I had where I tried to make a nice mill deck and it just didn't work. Not at all. The first game where we have a white source in hand. And I kind of like this hand. Even though we have no board wipe, which we will need because this will be 1 bajillion percent an aggressive deck. But as long as we find one land, we're kind of happy. I told ya! I told ya! But right now against those aggressive decks, we're not even looking that bad. Okay, all we need is one land, and we're super happy. Happy like a clown, Charlie B -b 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 Brown. Go ahead. That is still alright. It is still in the possibilities. Okay, okay game, but we do have the Fateful Absences. So it's still okay. The Elite Spellbinder. So what are you getting rid of? They will see that we don't have any land, which is very sad for us. Very sad. So I think they will get rid of the Fateful Absence here. It is just too good. Oh man, am I getting punished? All I need is one single white source. And I'm getting punished. Shouldn't have kept it. Oh, they're getting rid of the Memory Delugio. Interesting. Pretty interesting. So they're spreading the threat, which is smart. And we're getting screwed, which is bad. Very, very bad. But we will see where they're putting it here. 
We're still all okay. Oh my lord, seriously. They had to get it. Had to freaking get the Faceless Haven. We still do have a chance though. We still do have it. If we can find a freaking land. If we can't, well that's it Mr. That's it. That will be it. I mean we're 10 cards in with 2 lands. Please land here, please. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Of all the things that we could have gotten, we got another Doom Scar. Oh man, punished like freaking heck. Not cool game. Not cool. They have exact freaking lethal even here. Even more. Even freaking more than exact freaking lethal. Feels bad. Feels just so bad. I mean, 11 cards, only 2 were lands. Not cool. Good game. We got another board wipe, but we couldn't get a Doom Scar running. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, alright, I learned my lesson. Never keep a two lander with a control deck. Never, ever. All we needed was one land to make a miraculous freaking comeback. And we didn't get it, so it is totally my fault. But before we blame myself, let's thank our patrons and members on YouTube who make these giveaways like we're doing right now possible. Starting with our Z to the Great Harris, Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Atomatom, Vince MH, Vicky White, John Bell, Emanuel Coroniato, Felipe Rodriguez Diaz, Jeremiah Francois, Mike, Grey Wolf, Unmercy88, Steve O, and Jonathan Norton. A special thanks to our Gold Span Dragons, Waffles, Randy A. Candonalty, Jan Newman, Simster625, William Wydad, Tim Clandy, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Mild, Damien Tay, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Top, and Jefferson Meyer. And a special thanks, as always, to our Nico Bolos, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Grandoff, Danny Montgomery, William Smith, Ario Wolf, The Lacrime, Brian O'Reilly, and Mal Chija. Those folks make those giveaways like we have right now so freaking possible and if you want to give back to this awesome community you can check out the patreon and the membership and you're helping me out along the way there is a button below every single video that you can check out and if you don't have any hard-earned cash to share don't you worry about it sweet summer chat there's always other ways to support the channel like subscribing it's free you got nothing else to do but to subscribe and then if you leave a comment under the video that I did for the giveaway you can even participate in the freaking giveaway. So today was super freaking fun. I really enjoyed this deck a lot and I think that if I wouldn't have kept the two lander we might have had a chance even or if I would have drawn a land if I would those two things. But I blame myself for keeping a two lander with a control deck. It is just nothing you should do. Just always at least have three lands or a prosperous innkeeper in hand. If uh, that would have been the case, it would have been different, but it wasn't. So let me know what you think about the band Super Friends Falada Retreat combo with the Auron's Epiphany. It is a pretty crazy deck that I enjoyed a lot. A lot. I couldn't do the mill deck today. Maybe I will do it later as I'm doing two videos today. Yes, the mad lad. And yeah. I will be visiting my mama for the weekend. So thank you guys so very freaking much for all the ongoing support over the last nine, yeah, nine to ten months. We're almost there. In two months, we will have the anniversary, the Malone anniversary. I can't wait for that. There will be a big old party. So thank you guys so very freaking much. If you didn't do so already, subscribe, leave a like, share the video with a friend. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.